Hey, welcome to my uh, tutorial. I'm going to show you how to take GoPro still images um, and turn them into a moving time lapse using uh, Vegas Pro 11. So first things first, you want to open up a Vegas Pro. Next thing, you're going to go to Options, Preferences, and then under Preferences you'll find Editing tab. Click on that. And then a little ways down, you'll find new still image length. Um, so in there, you're going to want to put 0 0.033. So what you're doing there is you're setting it so uh, each image that you bring in, that's how long it will be. And the reason you're doing that is you're you're basically taking one second and you're dividing it by 30, right, to create 30 frames per second. So if you wanted uh, 24 frames per second instead, so 1 divided by 24, right, and then just put in uh, 0 0.042 instead of 0 0.033. But I like uh, 30 frames, so that's what I'm going to put. And then hit OK. Right. And then I've already got my a folder on my desktop here with all my GoPro images. So keep your GoPro images uh, named the way they are because the GoPro will automatically uh, name them in sequential order. Select all of them. And then go back to the top and grab the, grab the first one. That way that's the first one that comes into the program. And then drag it in onto your timeline. And I just drag it all the way over to the left. And then release left click. And then voila. You've got 471 images on your timeline now. Okay, so GoPro automatically uses a uh, 3x4 when it takes still images. And the images are actually a higher resolution than the resolution which it records video at. So what you can do with that is go to your project video properties. In there, on the top right corner, you'll find match media settings. Click that. And then select one of the uh, GoPro photos. What that does is it increases your resolution and matches the 3x4 size. So you hit apply. Now you've got a 3x4 video that's 3840 by 2880. Okay, so you're going to save that as a VAG, VEG file. I'm just going to save it on the de desktop as TL for time lapse. Um, next, I'm going to go new. Right. And so I've already got a, a custom thing made up, a 1920 by 1080 at 30 frames a second. And then a bunch of settings there that I like. Hit OK. Now uh, I'm going to take that VEG file that I saved on the desktop right here, TL. I'm going to drag that down into Sony Vegas and drop it on the timeline. So now I've got one block that represents those 400 and 71 photos but it's one file that's a lot easier to uh, work with now so what you're gonna do is uh, you can take your button and press your event pan crop and there you'll find in the preset you can uh, convert this to a 16 by 9 widescreen so that's generally what most people record at and that basically trims off the top and the bottom and reduces your resolution to 1920 by 1080. So if you don't like the bottom of your time lapse, you can actually move this up and have it just do the top or just do the bottom. So I'll just leave it in the middle for now. Okay, so you can see now I've got one file that I could render into one big video file. So something else you can do because the resolution is actually much higher than 1920 by 1080 you can actually have this pan out from the middle of the screen. So just go to the beginning. This brings you to your first keyframe. So you could so you could have this start right about there, and then at your end, your last keyframe. It's your last keyframe button, and then have that do finish with your full widescreen like like so. And doing that, you're not going to lose any any quality or resolution at all because it's about 
it's a uh, much higher resolution so your your pixels aren't you're not going to get any pixelation or, at all because of the size of the photo to begin with and now you can see at the beginning it starts kind of zoomed in in the middle and then as you move along your timeline and you get closer to the end now it's zoomed out to the middle and you can do that however you want you can I'll go back to my first timeline or first keyframe again and I could have it start up in this left corner here and then on my last keyframe I can have it uh, zoomed out to a little bit bigger but down in the bottom right corner right and just hit your X go along there so you can see it starts in the top right and it goes down to the bottom so I'm gonna just do it some way I like here so I'm just gonna have it I'm just gonna have it start right on the lake here like so and I'm gonna have it end just at a full right in the middle 16 by 9 widescreen and then I'm gonna hit my X and then all you have to do is uh, render it however you like however whatever settings you want to use Let's just go to render as and then just save it on your desktop and there you have it so I've got a preset for uh, my R5 my 19 by 1920 by 1080 at 30 frames that's the one I like to use so enjoy